Have you ever heard of H. pylori infection? This is a common bacterial infection that happens to be quite prevalent worldwide. It primarily targets the stomach, causing a variety of health issues. The H. pylori part of the name comes from the surnames of the brilliant scientists who discovered it, Barry Marshall and Robin Warren. What's interesting or rather disconcerting about this tricky little bacterium is that it often lies dormant. In many cases, H. pylori infection can go unnoticed for years. So, how does one get infected with H. pylori? Well, let's delve into that. H. pylori is primarily transmitted from person to person through direct contact. This can occur via saliva, vomit, or even fecal matter. Yes, it's as unpleasant as it sounds. But there's more. The bacteria can also sneak into your system through contaminated food or water. Hence, poor sanitary conditions amplify the risk of infection, making it a significant problem in areas where hygiene standards might be lacking. While it's not fully understood why some people develop symptoms and others do not, it is clear that a combination of environmental and genetic factors play a role. Now, let's delve into the symptoms of H. pylori infection. One of the most common symptoms is abdominal pain, often described as a dull ache that comes and goes, but may persist. Bloating is another symptom that many people experience, along with frequent burping. Some people might notice a loss of appetite or feel nauseous. Unexplained weight loss could also be a sign of H. pylori infection. In severe cases, this infection can lead to the development of ulcers in the stomach or small intestine, and even increase the risk of stomach cancer. These symptoms might seem common or vague, but when they persist, they could indicate a serious underlying condition. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical advice promptly. How is H. pylori infection treated? Well, treatment typically involves a two-pronged approach. The first part of the strategy is to use a combination of antibiotics aimed at killing the bacteria. The second part involves medications that decrease stomach acid, making it harder for the bacteria to survive and allowing the stomach lining to heal. However, we're seeing a growing concern in the medical community about resistance to antibiotic treatment. This means that the antibiotics that we've been relying on to kill H. pylori may not always work. But don't let this worry you too much. With the right treatment, most people can expect to make a full recovery. To recap, we've learned quite a bit about H. pylori infection today. We delved into its causes, identified symptoms to look out for, and explored potential treatments. Remember, if you suspect you may have an H. pylori infection, don't hesitate to seek medical advice. Stay informed, stay healthy.